My name is Annemette Rahm Nielsen. And I am Marilyn Gift, and I'm from Des Moines, Iowa. We are at the Danish Immigrant Museum, or the Museum of Danish America, in Elkhorn, Iowa. And today we are making... Mit Distapülsen. Okay. And we have four pounds of ground pork, and to that I will add um, one large onion that has been grated and mixed together with one cup of chicken broth. And we used a stick blender or a little mini food processor. The ground pork should have a pretty good percentage of fat. This I bought at the meat market. It has about a 15 percentage of fat. You can also grind your own with a grinder like this. Go ahead and mix. And you can add the, the spices. spices, which is all spices and cloves. One tablespoon of salt, a half a one and a half teaspoons of pepper, one teaspoon of allspice, and a fourth a teaspoon of ground cloves. Did we find the salt? We did. We did not <laughs> put it in. How about no. I still don't know how to work these measurements, but... <laughs> there. Perfect. And one tablespoon of salt. And we'll just mix it. While she is mixing that, I'm going to explain that we are going to use a KitchenAid mixer with a grinder with an attachment that has a uh, sausage stuffer on it. So this is the horn. I'm using the larger horn and we bought the pork casings at a meat market. So you can buy the pork casings there. You do have to rinse them out with uh, cold water before you use them. And you put the pork casings onto your horn. Slide them out of your horn like that. And just slide right on. Kind of have to untwist them. And you can put on as much as you want. There's a lot of port casings here, so we will, I think, stop with about this. Cut that off. Slide that on, and now that is well mixed. I think it is. We'll tie a little knot in the end so that it doesn't come out all over okay. the place. And then are you just making one in this? Or are you going well, to well, we'll twist it a couple of times okay. just to show you can do whatever you like. Okay, we okay. are ready. Perfect. I will just grab a spoon. There's a rubber scraper. Oh yeah. Okay, and I'll just add it to the machine and then Melvin will handle that. Oh. <laughs> we'll just plug in the machine. <laughs> Okay, and medisa pulsa is something that in Denmark is um, eaten at Julefrokoster, which is like Christmas luncheons. And one place in Denmark it's also eaten for as a Christmas dinner, and that's on Fyn. Uh, and my mom's family is from Fyn, so when I had Christmas with my grandmother and grandfather, we would always have medisa pulsa for. Christmas Eve. I think here in the United States, oh, 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 got a little air out of that one. All right. Twist it there. So this is kind of like bratwurst looks like, but it tastes a lot different than bratwurst. Yeah, and I think what makes the difference is uh, the spices, right? Yes. Yes. And you really need to add all of the spices because 
that's what makes a difference and a bit more fun than other kinds of sausages. Am I doing it wrong? You are doing fine. Okay. It takes a while to get a little air in there and then that. So Medusa Pulse is um, often served uh, traditionally with red cabbage, and you can say that in Danish. Local. Local. <laughs> and it's traditionally served with uh, cooked potatoes and gravy and cucumber salad or a gurkha salad. A gurkha salad, yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. She's got the right Danish <laughs> accent to do it. So do you often eat Melista Pilsen? We do, and lots of times we do buy it. It's not available very many places. One thing about the Danes, uh, the Danish food and our uh, food customs, we can't go to the food court at the mall and get Melista Pilsen no. or Pepperdine or any of those <laughs> things. You have to make it yourself. You can buy it at local markets and Danish communities. Uh, in Western Iowa there are several around in Harland and Elkhorn and other communities. Uh, Tyler, Minnesota would carry it. Uh, there's some towns in northern Iowa. Uh, so you can buy it at a meat market, and that's usually what we do is we buy it at a meat market. Mm. Uh, have you tried to have it when you've been to Denmark? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Do you think it's kind of similar to, yes, to the ones you make? it's very similar. Oh, that's good. So you just twist it when you... Uh, when you get to a place, but you can also make it in a long casing. And when you push that in there, we will. Uh, but isn't that kind of neat? This is the most fun thing that you can do is to make with these You can get your family together. I know some families that they'll have a tradition of, uh, and that's enough. Uh, they'll have a tradition in the early part of December. They all get together and they buy a large quantity of pork and they mix it up and then they make their medista posa and take it home and then uh, what I usually do is uh, I pre-cook it, pre-cook it like you would for bratwurst, pre-cook it and then brown it in a skillet or you can even put it out on the grill to get the mm -hmm. little nice little grill marks. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Well, you did a great job. Well, thank you. All righty. So and we have the finished product on displayed on the plate, uh, which makes a typical Christmas meal in Denmark or in some of your communities in the in, uh, United States. So with the potatoes and gravy and um, medista pulsa and the red cabbage. Yes. Okay. Hope you all have a great Christmas. <laughs> thank you.